Well, in the old days, under the Sir Alex Ferguson days, you would know that if Manchester United suffered an embarrassing or humiliating defeat, such as the one they did under Louis van Gaal at MK Dons in the week, that they would come back, that they would react, there would be a response, and they would come back stronger. They would remind people that this is Manchester United, they're a powerful unit, and they go back and they start winning games again. They put long runs together. Under Louis van Gaal, that just hasn't happened. I thought the performance at Burnley was average. It will look, it will look, it will try and look at it as a positive given the results so far, given the home defeat against Swansea, the draw at Sunderland, and the defeat against MK Dons. But they've got a problem up front at the moment because Wan Matter, Wayne Rooney, and Robin van Persie just haven't clicked. They've been together now for over, for nearly a season. Matter coming in in January, but the Rooney Robin van Persie partnership for some reason they're just not on each other's wavelengths. And considering just how good they are as players, just give it the elite level that they've played at for various clubs over the years and for their international teams, they should be doing better. Angel Di Maria, of course, positive. Unfortunately, he came off with an injury, but I thought he had a positive start to his Manchester United career. And Daly Blind coming in from Ajax. When he arrives, perhaps he can just add a little bit of steel to the centre of that mid Manchester United midfield. But it's at the back, they've just got so many problems. They don't look comfortable. Phil Jones... Uh, Johnny Evans coming back into the into the Manchester United team against Burnley, and then Tyler Blackett in the England under twenty one team, a young player. But it's always very very difficult to put young players into struggling teams, and that's what Manchester United are at the moment. They are a struggling team.